Welcome back to the Amy Kardashian and the Expert Show where we bring some of the top experts in the world to help you transform your business and personal life. And sometimes we have inspirational stories where they can help you see your life in a different perspective. I am your host, Amy Kardashian, not, not Kardashian. Kardashian, and I'm your co-host, Stephanie Thompson. <laughs> I'm a classically trained singer-songwriter. Well, in this episode, and this is the fourth segment of four segments, it went by fast. Yes. <laughs> we have been talking with the lovely Joan Peck. She's an author and speaker, an author of four books, an editor of many books, and in this uh, segment, she's going to be talking about publishing versus self-publishing and, and editing. editing. Yeah. Yeah. And also, we're missing to say she's a faculty member. Oh, on, that's right. right? Yes. She's a faculty member. Of the AKA and the AKA Experts, and the Experts Academy. Yes. On mm -hmm. our academy. Now, mm -hmm. also, we are going to do a webinar, a whole hour webinar, uh, on how to write a book you can, right? Yeah, yeah you can it do it. It will be in August, right? Yes. August. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and, and that segment, when we do the webinar, you could ask questions, start sending me questions right now, mm -hmm. so we could ask her and you could be live with us and uh, actually chat with with Joan and ask whatever question you might have on that. Yeah. yeah. So for now, we <laughs> want to get some more information okay. about editing and then publishing. Right. The stage is yours. So mm -hmm. now you've written your book, and now you need it edited. Mm -hmm. Well, there are several different types of editing. Some of you uh, out there who've written a book might be struggling a little bit and want a little help in that developing it. And so I do, actually, I do a lot of work with developmental editing, okay. uh, where people come to me and they just need a little guidance of what to do how uh, how I react to it if I have suggestions and how to do it even sure. better or whatever and we kind of work together and uh, that's a lot of fun actually and then of course your next editor or the next thing you want to do is have line editing and that's where you make sure your tenses are correct whether it's mm -hmm. past tense future tense whatever not and repeat you don't mm -hmm. have repeats right, right no no repeats any yeah. of that you kind of that's where you clean it up. Yes. And then you have proofreading. Now you've got it all together. Mm -hmm. You may have the book printed uh, as a copy, a sample, like yes. you did and I did. And then you just need somebody to go copy read it to make sure no mistakes because your brain works to uh, such a way that when it thinks it should say something, it sees that. So yeah. you, you just, that's why you need to have somebody proofread mm -hmm. because your brain will make it up and say that's okay. Mm -hmm. It'll put in a word when there isn't it's a word. It's not word there, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, and you think, sure. oh, I just said that, it's not there when you read <laughs> I it know, again. You think, where did it go? But you can't right. catch it as much as other people can catch it. Right. Because your brain is just lying to you, not lying to you, but it is illusion. Right. It, that's exactly it, it's right. Been there. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And Very that's easy point. to do. So Let sure. me ask you this question. So for them, I'm going to ask for them the question. I sure. know, I know how to do it myself. But for them, would you recommend for them to write the whole ev every chapter in the book and then go to editor, or start with chapter one and have the editor help them to continue? Or what's the difference yeah. between editing and have someone to coach you to get you from chapter one to two and three and so forth? Most of the people that I work with send me chapter by chapter. Mm -hmm. We talk mm -hmm. about the book. We have a session. Okay. So I know where she's headed. Now, if she or he writes the preface, yes. I know where they want to go. go. Where, mm -hmm. And I have an idea of how they want it to, to end. Okay. So uh, then chapter by chapter uh, usually works. Um, if they do the whole book, that's not an issue or a problem. Yeah. But again, I do a lot of 
developmental uh, yeah. editing. But well, if you've got you, it written, then it's that's... You have it. If you don't have right. it written, it's better right. to take it one chapter and then when they're starting the next chapter, you can actually catch it and say, okay, you're going a little bit the other direction. Right. 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 Yeah. So you, you need can to come back to where you at. Kind of they get more help from you, right? Right. When, when it's going one by one. Well, and as you're going along, you can see where... Um, if there are, for instance, a lot of characters, and then it's easy to confuse the characters. And I don't know about you, but if you read a book, it always fascinates me because the main character might start with the letter B, right? Mm -hmm. And then somewhere down the line, there's another character, and almost always they start and name it a B. Mm -hmm. Or it could be an S. And then then your characters get confusing. confused. Okay. So, but it's something that we all do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do it myself. We all do it. Yeah. We're comfortable with Betty, so therefore we want Belinda. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, <laughs> and it's very easy to do, and you can get mixed up with that. So you have to be so, careful what you But yeah. if you have somebody like you who's guiding, or yeah. even if they don't get you to help them, someone to help them. So right. you receive some help from yeah. someone, but I right. highly recommend <laughs> Thank Joan, you. really, because Thank you. then you're not really, um, you know you're talking to someone who has done it, they know what they're doing, they're guiding you in the right direction, right. and they're not wasting your time because time mm. is just frustration. You get, you can get so frustrated writing a book if you don't have the right mm. people who can guide you and help you to, to take it from where it is to make it actually a book, mm -hmm. right. right? Right. So we have only a couple of minutes to talk about publishing. What is your recommendation for publishing? Now these days, a lot of people could publish themselves. Right. So they can. And as I said earlier, there are you know, a million books. So how do you get mm -hmm. your books out there? Well, a lot more people are taking advantage of Amazon.com mm -hmm. and create space. They can be both a printed book and an e-book. The, I think the, the money, they, the return on that is better in that venue than just going on Amazon.com. Um, you can uh, go to Fiverr if you want anything done, www.fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, I think it is, or right. F-I-V-E-R-R. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. because you can get your cover done for 20 bucks. You know, mm -hmm. everything there, you're supposed to be able to pay and get something for $5. Well, yes. that you can do. And then so you can get your, your other work done. Layout person is a little bit different, but they do have layout per people on uh, Fiverr. Uh, most of us who use a publisher of some kind, that's part of what they offer. So they offer doing the cover. They offer doing the layout. They offer the editing, and Amy and I have both used yeah. a, a, a publisher. And we publish ourselves, too, and so we, we know so both right. sides of the... Right. right. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, there's also another side, whether you get uh, hold out and wait for an agent. Well, there are some people, and uh, if you go to, um, um, you can go Google it, mm -hmm. and you can find out different uh, publishers who... Uh, will accept manuscripts without an agent. You can go on there too on Google and find out how to do a uh, letter to the agent. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. of this is available on okay. uh, the internet. Okay, good, good. Give so them your website really quick. www.bejeweled7.com B-E-J-E-W-E-L-E-D the number 7.com And don't mm -hmm. forget to go to AK and the experts.com yeah. to check out when we ha we are having live webinar with John and that Thank you can you. actually connect with us right away is is August what August 3rd August, August 3rd, 3rd from mm -hmm. yeah. from 6 to 7 mm -hmm. Las Vegas time USA and who's coming next week? We have, we have Chef Sharon Frazier. Yes. And yes. Uh, maybe she'll bring us some samples. Yeah, that'd that be would nice. be nice, right? <laughs> okay. Too bad I'm not here. Yes. <laughs> Until next week, take care, and we'll see you soon.